In this video, we are going to create a Salesforce record using data from an Excel file saved in SharePoint. The origin of this file is an email attachment that comes out of one system through that system's automatic report schedule feature. Many systems have that feature and we can leverage that feature to automate data integration. We can send data from one system to Salesforce using none other than Microsoft Power Automate. Let's get started. Now, we already have a Power Automate flow that grabs the email report attachment and saves it in SharePoint and adds a table to the file. We can start our flow with a list rows present in table action, which is what I have right here. So I've already added in the location library file and the table. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a new step and we're going to search Salesforce. Now Salesforce are premium connectors and if you have access to those what you can do is you can do a create record. Now once you've connected your Salesforce connectors to your Salesforce instance then you're going to get a drop down list of all the possible object types that you have in your Salesforce instance. And one way you can search is just start typing in here. Um, let's say we want to find the object type or contact. And here we have contacts and you can select that. Another way to find your object type, if you're not sure if it, what, it, what it's called in this list here, or maybe you just don't see it in here, but it might actually be a Salesforce object type that you can select. What you can do is you can hop over to the object manager section of Salesforce. And here's where it's gonna list all of the API names for those object objects in Salesforce. And you can use the quick find to search for the name of your object. And in this case, I wanna, let's say I wanna grab training attendee. So I can search training and now here I see training training attendee, and here's the API name. So I can actually go ahead and copy this API name, copy it in here, and just give it a second, and it should connect. There we go. So it's gonna use the API name, and then what it's gonna do here um, under the advanced options, so if you click show advanced options, you're going to see all of the fields that are located on that particular object type. So I have all of these fields here um, that are underneath the training attendee object type in our Salesforce. And so now what I'm able to do is fill in these fields using our dynamic content from our table that we have here. So all I need to do is map all of, the, all of these fields here. So for example, I want to map training attendee class date, and I'll go to my file, go to dynamic content, and look for the completed class date. So here we have class end date. And now what it's going to do is Power Automate is going to automatically make this and apply to each because the list rows present in table has multiple rows. And so the flow will automatically understand that. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna automatically put our create a record action inside of an apply to each action. And then it's going to automatically put in this value. So you could set it up that way initially. So we could first put in our apply to each. And then the output from the previous steps is going to be value list of items from our list rows present in table. And then we would just add in our Salesforce connector there. But Power Automate will do that for you. As soon as you add a dynamic content uh, value in here. So we can go and continue adding our um, mapping our Excel values to these fields here. So once you're done filling in all of your fields, all you need to do is go down to the bottom and click Save. Test your flow out. 
and watch as Power Automate creates a Salesforce record for you. Thanks everyone for watching. Hopefully you found something useful in this video. Let me know in the comments how you utilize these Salesforce connectors at your job and how it makes your life easier. And looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.